Good morning. Today is March 6th, and it is day 55 of the legislative session. The session ends this Saturday at midnight, so we're in the final week, and we're going to see a lot of activity as the session wraps up uh, throughout the week. Um, this past Saturday had a flurry of activity in the House of Delegates, and they passed some major pieces of legislation out of the House on Saturday. The Senate went home for the weekend, but uh, the House stayed in work, and I wanted to give you an update on some of the major bills that were passed. Senate Bill 268, which deals with PEIA, passed the House of Delegates uh, by a pretty strong vote on Saturday afternoon, and that bill is now headed back to the State Senate uh, for concurrence or for some additional action. Now, some of the key points about that bill. It would reimburse hospitals at 110% of Medicare. Currently, they're being reimbursed at 50%, which is very, very low. The bill would also require the PEIA Finance Board to get back to an 80-20 mixture as far as payments. That means the state government or local government entities who are the employers would be paying 80% of the premiums, but those enrolled in PEIA would be paying 20% of the premiums. And lastly, the bill requires that if a person on PEIA has a spouse who's working somewhere else that has the ability to get insurance through their workplace, their spouse would have to take that insurance. If not, then in that case, uh, the employee would have to pay 100% for the spouse to be included on PEIA. That is something that is very typical in a lot of health insurance uh, uh, programs, and they're trying to go ahead and make sure the PEIA stays solvent and is available uh, going into the future. Uh, so again, that bill passed with a very strong margin and is headed back to the Senate. Now, tied in with that was Senate Bill 423, which is the $2,300 pay raise for state employees, uh, primarily teachers and uh, those in the, or, uh, members of the West Virginia State Police. Other employees will also receive the same pay raise, but that will be done through the normal budgeting process. Now, this pay raise will help offset the premium increases that come along with uh, the changes made in Senate Bill 268. That bill, again, also passed and is headed back to the Senate for a concurrence. The House also passed uh, House Bill 2526 and completed legislation on the tax plan. So we now have tax reform in West Virginia. Some of the major components, uh, a 21.25% cut to the personal income tax, uh, a rebate available for your vehicles. So make sure you pay your car tax on time uh, and then you will be able to get a full rebate for your car taxes going forward now. Uh, it also includes additional tax relief for disabled veterans and for the smaller businesses, those with an assessed value of less than a million dollars, uh, a property tax rebate for those small businesses as well. We expect the governor is going to sign that bill. He has been a lead champion in uh, generating tax reform this session. And House Bill 2526, which has now completed the legislative prog or, uh, process, represents the tax reform package that the House, Senate, and the governor agreed upon. The last thing the House did on Saturday was pass its version of the budget. Now, the version of the budget that it passed is not the real version that will eventually uh, finish up. Each chamber has to pass a budget that reflects what they have passed legislatively as far as spending goes. Uh, so now the House and the Senate will be working together to sync up the budgets and produce a true budget for West Virginia based on legislation that will be passing and the amount of dollars that are being spent, uh, collected, and so forth. So we're going to be watching that process throughout the rest of the week as the House and the Senate come together and finalize a budget. Just wanted to stop in and give you a brief update after such uh, incredible activity on the House floor this past Saturday. Uh, as always, feel free to reach out to me with any questions you have, and I'll give you another update later this week uh, as we head into just the final few days of the session. Thank you.